We want jobs. Yeah. We want fair housing. Yeah. We want better schools. Yeah. So our children won't be accused of not being able to know what a computer is. Yeah. Let's build some brand new steady yard computer labs in those schools. Make the investments into these communities. Or he cannot expect that our vote is a given because it will not be a given. How many of you out there are lifelong Democrats who have walked away from the plantation of the Democratic Party and are now voting Republican because of the way that we were neglected and ignored and pushed to the side? Our communities, especially poor minority communities, let make let me make make this clear. When I say poor, I mean black, white, Hispanic, Jewish, Asian. All of us are in this together. I Italians, all of us are in it. All of us are getting in this together. All right. This is not a black issue. This is not a white issue. This is not a democratic issue. This is not a Republican issue. This is a human issue. We got severe poverty in the Bronx. We got unemployment. We got crime. We got failing schools. We got dilapidated housing. We got abortion clinics on every damn corner. Not to mention liquor stores and, and, and weed spots and safe injection sites all over our communities. Get rid of AOC. Vote hot out. <laughs> it's not looking good for the radical left, okay? So they're all having a Kamala party right now, okay? They're going through their honeymoon phase, okay? So there's a lot of different things that are going on where there's all these different groups that are like coming out of the woodwork supporting Kamala and there's also all these different groups that are against Kamala. I've already did a Black Lives Matter video. I posted that a while ago where Black Lives Matter, the organization came out and publicly denounced Kamala not because they didn't agree with having a black female president, but they disagreed with the process of selecting her, disenfranchising voters with the Democrat primary process, effectively being nullified all that effort to get voters to come out and support cadaver Joe Biden is just erased because the radical leftists were afraid they would lose. Now you have a situation where you have some people who were previously disenfranchised by the radical left, of whom there are many, but these are just two people that are prominent including Madeline Bram, who gave a heartfelt speech at the RNC convention. So I decided to use the voice that God gave me to be the voice for the voiceless across America. Soft on crime prosecutors like Alvin Bragg in New York, Kim Fox in Chicago, and George Gascon in Los Angeles have turned our great country and cities into war zones. And who else in here is sick and tired of being sick and tired? The Democratic Party that poor minorities have been loyal to for decades, including myself, all right? They betrayed us. They stabbed us in the back. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, who claim to represent us, have abandoned us. They neglected the poor minority communities across America. But my eyes have been open. like so many other poor minorities across America. Donald Trump shares our values, love of God and family and country. Trump was right when he said, they're after us. 
He's just standing in the way. So now she's back and she's talking to Laura Ingram from Fox News, as well as Latina Brown, beautiful sister. Okay, I'm going to pop them up on the screen here and we're going to see what they have to say about the radical leftists and why they're now supporting Teflon Don. Who in the last few years have left their old party and are now voting for Trump. Latina Brown and Madeline Brame. Madeline, um, good to see you. We'll start with you. You know, she's been vice president for almost four years. Yeah. Obama was president for eight years as a, as a black man. Uh, so is playing the race card here really a smart strategy? You know, uh, thank you so much, Laura, for having me once again on your show. Um, it is absolutely the most silliest thing that they could possibly do because uh, most African-Americans know that the illegals benefit card is worth more than our worthless black card. So Ooh. why would we care yeah. about Facts. who Kamala Harris is, about her race or her gender? We care about the policies that she has pushed with Joe Biden for the past. Well, it's because the Democrats' strategy is always to emotionally manipulate black people and women. Like, basically, whoever, whatever you can use to manipulate, use it. Hey, we got a woman. Oh my gosh, a woman. You see how a lot of women reacted to Kamala. Like they got a whole group called like white women for Kamala. <laughs> right? It's like, that's very strange. Uh, and then you got a bunch of groups of people that are blacks for Kamala. And it's only because of that particular demographic, them feeling underrepresented, nothing to do with policy. As a matter of fact, they get angry when you ask about policy. They want to try to debate you about how awesome or how terrible policies were under other people, but they don't talk about how Kamala's policies are going to be better than anyone else's, which is what you should do for every candidate. Nobody's trying to treat her special except for the people that support Cackle and Kamala. Last three and a half years, we are struggling. We can't even make ends meet. You talked about retirement earlier. I have to work till I'm 70 years old in order to get my full retirement. So, you know, um, no, black America is not supporting Kamala Harris, all right? Um, her color has nothing to do with the failed policies that she has um, championed and stood on for three and a half years. Now, people right. have called Kamala the DEI candidate, um, but Democrats, they don't like that. Whenever you hear DEI, I want you to think about the N-word. I want you to think about racial slurs. That's what they actually mean. What? Ah! Guys. <laughs> How many different dog whistles y'all got? <laughs> like, these people, the, everything to them is some sort of dog whistle. Now DEI is the N-word. <laughs> you know that DEI, like black people don't own DEI, right? Like it literally could be anything from black. It could be LGBTQ. It could be people of different ages. It could be about gender. It could be about being disabled, a veteran. I mean, it could be anything. This dummy thinks it's about being being a, an in, <laughs> being a Negro, that's what he thinks, bro. I, my head, I'm starting to get a headache. The radical leftists give me headaches. The radical leftists are physically hurting me with their stupidity. Latina, <laughs> when you think, when you hear <laughs> DEI, think of the N word. That's where they are. That's it. I just want to say this: the Democrats are full of crap. And I think that they know that the American people can see through the crap that they're pushing and circulating out there to the black community. If anything, the Democrats, they're the ones who are sowing division in the community, in this country. They're not about uniting everyone together. Together, They're about themselves. They're about power. They're about division. They have their own agenda in place. And this thing has been in the works for years. It's just that now it's coming to mm. light and people are starting to wake up. They're opening up their eyes. And, and I'm going to tell you something. The black community, we will not support her. Nope. You know, they can try to race bait us. Nope. They can try to push the gender uh, oh, agenda. Yeah. 
in our community. And speaking of that, Latina, mm -hmm. speaking of that, I got a place because they're <laughs> starting this pressure campaign <laughs> for any black person or minority who is not considering voting for Kamala. <laughs> well, You're going to look real crazy being on the other side of that line. Don't even start about somebody look crazy. Look at your face. <laughs> look at your hair. Look at your make like look at your eyebrows. Who look crazy? What is that you got on? Who look crazy? <laughs> like Joy. <laughs> Your people should listen to you. In terms of who look crazy. Have you seen have, have, did y'all see the video where she was arguing that there should be like books? There's books talking about basically like a child. I think he was like being you know sexually with the a word if you use if you say that word sometimes youtube likes to block the video but yes sexually you know what and joy reed was arguing that this book should be in a library for children's schools not just in public libraries but in children's schools she was already this was back in the, the during the ron DeSantis time joy reed was arguing hard that a bunch of pedophiliac type books should be in school and she's trying to tell you how weird you're gonna look if you're gonna be inside and like ain't nobody trying to hear what the hell you're trying to say joy uh, whatever credibility that she got i don't know who the hell thinks that joy reed is as much of a freaking weirdo person as she is totally creepy Probably the, the most radical leftist on television that I could think of right now. More radical even than Rachel Maddow. Don Lemon. Well, he ain't on regular TV no more. He got fired. But uh, Crybaby Van Jones. Like, Joy Reid has got to be the worst. And she talking about somebody being weird. She even, she looks the weirdest and she acts the weirdest and she has the weirdest point of views. What the hell Joy talking about? I'm particularly joy look like she uh she need to be i think joy is married to a man i'm like joy look like she need to be part of the lgbtq community is how she look on the screen i'm sorry i don't mean to be roasting but i mean i'm just calling it how it is it's a person of color oh let me go there back really and see anyone let me go back and see what this case is saying i'm particularly as a person of color but really as anyone who claims to have any connection to the culture you're going to look real weird and real lonely on that side. All right, one line from each of you. Madeline, you I mean, Joy, you got blonde hair and short blonde hair at that. It's arguable if it could even be defined as hair. And you're talking about somebody who's going to look real weird and real lonely. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so, like, if, you don't, if you're not lonely, you need to be because I can't imagine you having a whole lot of friends first. And secondly looking weird joy like you really don't got no business talking about somebody who look weird and if you, you follow the black agenda or trying to act like you have some sort of monopoly on black culture it's like these are the same people who act like black people are not monolithic but then they want you to treat kamala harris who is not black by the way she's not black she's not african-american but they want you to be monolithic do the same thing that all these other black people are doing Follow the crowd. Stop asking questions. Stop debating. Stop trying to be different. Just go along to get along. Otherwise, we're going to call you Coon. We're going to call you Uncle Ruckus. We're going to say that you're a white supremacist. This is how these people operate. Even Joy Reid is trying to say that basically you ain't black. She's doing what Joe Biden did. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. They don't have Joy and Joe Biden should be a freaking ashamed of themselves for trying to race shame people for not doing what the hell they want them to do. Joy Reid, seriously, if you ever see this, you can kiss my ass, Joy Reid. And that goes for anybody who tries to say, if you black, you need to do this. I do what the hell I want to do. I was about to drop the F-bomb on y'all. Try not to do that on this channel. But I do what the hell I want to do. Whatever makes sense to me and my friends and my family, that's what the hell I'm going to do. Not with Joy Reid, you're going to be lonely like Joy you're lonely ain't nobody lonely over here i got plenty of friends and family and all kinds of other stuff going on so what the hell are you talking about slap yourself joy that's a weird statement coming from um you know uh miss reed i don't think she's all there mentally 
God help us all. (laughs) (laughs) It's actual factual, guys. This lady has lost it a long time ago. And the fact that you got people out here trying to shame black folks. I'm just tired of people like trying to manipulate black people. And it's never like we're going to use logic with black people. We're going to tell, we're going to actually tell them like, okay, Hey, y'all want a good economy. Here's how we're going to do it. You know, we're going to stop illegal immigration. We care about these things, but we disagree with the execution that the conservatives have, but we care about those things too. It's okay to care about some of the same things, but that's not what the Democrats are doing. They're like pretending like they're radical leftists because they just want to, they basically just kind of picked a side and then they're just going full throttle. That's exactly what Kamala is doing because she, she has no principles, ethics, morals, or anything. It takes like two freaking seconds to pick up on that. But trying to do all this freaking race shaming, it is totally ridiculous i see different videos every day with black people trying to like this is acting crazy beautiful for kamala like they're acting crazy about this between joy reed van jones there's a bunch of black actors and actresses taraji i did did a video i keep bringing her up in videos they look stupid crazy roland martin boule martin all these people is all about race with these people. You really get to see who the true racists are in this country. You really get to see who the racist influences are, the racist mayors, governors, uh, congressmen and women. I mean, you really get to see it all. All you gotta do is just pay attention, just watch and see what they say and why they say it. Nobody wants to stand on Kamala's record. They all wanna stand on it being historic. She's a woman. First off, Hillary lost. She's a woman, so we got to get her uh, Kamala in now. It's our it's our second chance at this. And then because she is pretending to be black, like oh she's a black woman, she's a woman of color, whatever spin they want to try to put on it. Nobody wants to talk about her record, and it's not a good one. Locking up tons of people, including pr- not wanting evidence to come out to overturn a prosecution just so she could maintain her record of victories even though the man was proven innocent this is not a good human being guys standing behind all of the stuff that sleepy joe stood behind that caused this record inflation afghanistan withdrawal catastrophe y'all know that that afghanistan sold or is in process of selling all of that equipment and weaponry weaponry to terrorists across the globe they got the best technology from America because the freaking idiot Joe Biden and dumb, dumb VP Kamala Harris let them have our technology. Prices through the roof, illegal immigration out of control. This is what Kamala stands for. The same idiocy, if not worse than Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe was confused. He didn't know what the hell he was doing. Kamala is deliberately making stupid mistakes to further her own ambition. That's all it's about. She don't care because she's going to be hidden away in some sort of bunker somewhere if they start dropping nukes. She not worried. She don't have no kids, no no biological kids. She's not worried. People get, get, want to get mad about that. I'm like, it's the truth. She has no real skin in the game. She don't care, man. She don't care nothing about no abortion. Y'all really think Kamala Harris cares about this stuff? She's the fakest politician in existence. I ain't never dealt. She's way faker than Joe. She's always been that fake. Even before I switched over from being a radical leftist to more conservative, I always called out Kamala as a fake ass politician. Never should be coming nowhere close to the White House. And I'm glad to see that there's some black women who are standing on business, refusing to be manipulated, browbeaten and bullied by these radical leftists and their own community, mostly their own community, trying to browbeat them into submission. For anybody who tries to say, well, the black community is so smart and so intelligent. Okay, well, explain your freaking position and stop trying to just bully and strong arm your way into winning an election because it's not going to work. And as I just explained, her record is so trash. The reason why nobody wants to talk about it is because they know 
that if you talk about Kamala Harris's record, she gets crushed each and every damn time. But let me know what you guys think. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching the Black Anomaly Rising channel. I'm out. So we need to keep this going, all right? We, we need to be true to who we are. Don't be afraid. Don't back down. Get down there. Get out there and vote, vote, vote like your life depends on it because it does. Let's make America safe again. And re-elect our Donald J. Trump.